Hey there, El Dorado. On today's show, we'll get some more information on college from Hawk Talk University. I'll look at our September Senior of the Month. We will take a look at your plans for homecoming. And get an inside scoop with one of our star athletes, Cassidy Towner. Today is October 24th, 2014. I'm Kristen Lindner. And I'm Preston Ford. Okay, I know what you guys are probably thinking. What the heck is up with all these gingers? Well, actually, we prefer the term... Strawberry Redhead. blonde. Well, despite the name, we have souls, and we are nice people. Anyways, let's move on to something different. Like learning more about college with Miss Armstrong. Hot Talk University. Hey Hawks, this is Miss Armstrong from Hawk Talk University. Did you know that we are adding information to our scholarship link every week? There are scholarship items available to all students, not just seniors. If you are thinking about attending college, it's never too early to start looking for scholarships. Go to edhs.org under counseling and click on scholarships. And if you are trying to figure out how to pay for college, don't forget about our financial aid night on December 4th at 7 p.m. See you next time on Hawk Talk University. Go Hawks! Hawk Talk University! Thanks, Ms. Armstrong, for the updates on college. So, Kristen, homecoming is right around the corner, and uh, I was wondering if you wanted to be my square dance partner this year, 2013. Preston? No. Just, just no. I'm David Christensen. And I'm Christian Michaels. And we interviewed people around the school to see if they had to say about homecoming. And this is what they said. So who are you going to homecoming with? Myself. Well, what if I found you a date? Yes. Yes, I will go with you to homecoming. If you would take anyone from the Teen Wolf cast to homecoming, who would it be? Michael J. Fox. Have you been asked to homecoming yet? Yes. By who? Dylan Taylor. Aww. <laughs> what? Are you excited? Yes. Are, are you a freshman? Yeah. Is this your first ever dance? Yeah. So cute. What cast member from Teen Wolf would you take to homecoming? Scott McCall. <laughs> there you have it. So which one of you fellows are going to uh, homecoming and who are you going with? <laughs> I'm going with Gwenny. I'm going with Danella. Nathan Christopher. Jordan Wells. Hey, who are you taking to homecoming? David Christensen. You mean that David Christensen? Yes. Oh! Wow, what a treat. Now back to the anchors in the studio. I've got to say, being a senior must be pretty awesome. You know, it is. Do you know which senior is pretty awesome? Who? Our September Senior of the Month. One of Laura's great qualities, her perseverance, I believe. She deserves this because I've never known anyone to work harder than her. She's taken AP and honor classes every year of high school and always excelled in each and every one of them. And again, not only is her singing fabulous, her acting is phenomenal. Laura deserves to be Senior of the Month because she has a wide range of talents. She's in theater, she's been on stage in many plays, she's in my program, her vocal ensemble, and her GPA is one of the highest of her class. Her academic stature amongst her classes is very high. I think Laura's enthusiasm for being in class and her love of being a student, uh, as well as her singing talent, obviously, she's been in vocal music for four years now with me and her uniqueness and her ability to just be herself. Congratulations, Laura, on being Senior of the Month. Congratulations, Laura. You deserve it. Now, El Dorado, here are your sports. 
Girls Volleyball lost to Villa Park 3 0. Their overall record is 3 6, and their next game is at Foothill. Girls Tennis lost to Villa Park 11 7. Their next game is versus Foothill. Boys Water Polo won over Crispy in a thriller 7 6 in double overtime. Their next game is versus Whittier. Football lost to Foothill 24 10. Their next game is at Bray Linda. This past Friday and Saturday, the cross country team competed in the Orange County Championships at Irvine Regional Park. Freshman Joaquin Rodriguez became the first Orange County individual champion for the Division III Frost with his victory on Friday. This time was 16-51. Cassie was named to the all-county team. Senior and state-ranked Cassie Townley competed in the girls' varsity sweepstakes race on Saturday and placed fifth overall individually with a time of 17:32. Every race is a new beginning, a chance to prove your worth an opportunity to show you have what it takes to be the best. Cassie Towner is one of the few who stands out above the rest. Met her before her freshman year. She came out for the uh, summer track program. And as soon as I learned that she ran the mile in the low sixes, I had to get her out for a you know, cross country. In cross country, my motivation is probably competition and winning and just doing my best to make it to the next level. Every day, cross country is a challenge, so every day you're facing a competition. And Cassidy has the achievements to prove she is one of the best. Every year at the OC Champs race, she has finished top 10 in the county. She has finished first out of 122 runners at the Cal Poly Pomona Bronco Invitational. She is fifth in state individually in Division Three cross country. All this in just her senior year. But before her senior year began, in February, while on an ASB trip, she broke her collarbone. That was really discouraging to me since it happened the week before track started. So I was out for the first five weeks of my season and wasn't able to compete. I started running that fifth week and by the second week I was back, I was already competing. Cassie's such a competitor that within six weeks, uh, she healed up and you know, she's back out on the track and she ended up qualifying uh, for CIF in both the 1600 and 3200. Cassidy worked hard and bounced back. She became the OC Registers Athlete of the Week twice in one month. She did it for the first meet at the Bronco uh, Invite, where she ran in the 17s, placed first. And then the second time she was OC Register of the Week, she placed work at, or she placed first at the uh, Century League Preview Meet, and then two days later at the Central Park Invitational. Get this, she took the SAT in the morning. After the SAT, she got over to Central Park in Huntington Beach, ran a race, and placed first again. Cassie proved that no challenge is too big, and that she will continue to be the best. Now it's time for extra, extra announcements. FBLA will be having a meeting in room 308 Friday at lunch. They'll be discussing what it means to be a member. Game Club will be having a meeting in Rayburg's room today at lunch in room 705. Key Club will be having its first general meeting tomorrow in room 210 at lunch. Do you love art? If you do, then enter the PTSA Reflections Competition. Entries are due on the 25th, so pick up an application from the Activities Office. Peak Ribbon Club Meeting. Don't forget to go to the theater at launch on Thursday for our first meeting. Skateboard racks are now available for use. They are located in the bike rack area. Thursday, October 31st will be Halloween Dress Up Day. We encourage everyone to participate, students and staff. In order to have a successful day, remember, costumes must be selected and worn on good taste. Students must be able to function normally in school. Costumes are not to be connected to one another. No weapons. Costumes must meet dress code standards. Shoes must be worn. No depiction of drugs, alcohol, etc. No ethnic characters. Homecoming tickets are now on sale. The prices are as follows. October 21st to the 25th are $25 with ASB and $30 without. October 28th through November 1st is $30 with ASB and $35 without. College representatives. There will be a representative from the following colleges. La Sierra University, Chapman University, FITM, and San Diego Canyon College. Attention sophomores. The U O'Brien Youth Leadership Seminar recognizes one sophomore student through a weekend program to promote leadership skills. Applications are due to counseling by November 1st. Hey Hawks, are you ready for round three of our weekly current events challenge? Here's the current leaderboard with Ms. Shari second period class in first place. Congratulations! The scoring is based on how many classes participate each week, and whoever gets the answer right first gets the most points. Now it's time for this week's questions. The first question is, this week, what state was the site of yet another school shooting? This time it's a middle school and two are dead and two are wounded. The second question is, what government program launched this month amid complaints about the website consumers most use for it? Remember to go to edtv3.org and click on the link in the left-hand corner called Quiz. Well, Hawks, that wraps up another episode of Hawk Talk. Comedy Sports starts next week on Wednesday. And next week is our special episode for Halloween, so stay tuned. Until next time, 
I'm Preston Ford. And I'm Kristen Linder. Have a great day, Hawks.